Hello, everyone. Welcome first to the board members and superintendent, and a special welcome to friends, family, faculty, staff, and alumni to the Stiver School for the Arts 2022 graduation. I would like to begin by thanking my amazing mother, Dafina Taylor, for being the greatest aspect of my life and for putting up with me <laughs> and for putting up with me not having my driver's license yet. Now, as for the wondrous senior class of Stiver School for the Arts, I'm glad to say that our first of many wonders is that we made it. The second one <laughs> The second wonder is that even the students in Mr. Unger's first period class managed to get here on time today. However, our list of wonders goes on, so here are the highlights. Since seventh grade, we've had so many arts and writing awards that I'm still waiting on my scholastic certificate from freshman year. Our musicians and vocalists are always giving the greatest recitals. The CTE photo, tech, and film students elevated their programs to tremendous heights with film students showcasing their talents at a drive-in movie and at their very own film showcase. Myself, yeah, myself and other tennis players had a very fruitful season, as did all the other athletes, and thanks to Ashlyn for hitting the ball straight to me even while I was injured. Most recently, the entire senior class had the opportunity to meet Ambassador Tony Hall, former Ohio representative and Nobel Peace Prize nominee. He told us lessons that he learned from his mentor, Mother Teresa, one being to do the thing in front of you. He then asked, what are the things that we have done? Now, we may not have all written our congressman, but that's okay because I bet most of the adults here haven't either. Immediately though, I was able to identify perhaps one of our greatest wonders. No one raised their hand to tell Mr. Hall, but there was not one person here who has not contributed greatly to our community. We had a student who organized the only school walkout in the area that protested anti-LGBTQ legislation. Several students devoted weeks of hard work, skill, and leadership to produce a main stage musical. And students showed up to class in spite of the disillusionment we experienced due to the havoc of learning during a pandemic. While many students' lives were hard at home, they bravely graced us at school with some of the best conversations, outfits, knitting club projects, and smiles, and they never left me without the notes from when I was absent. Thank you, Paulina. And that was our greatest wonder, simply the ability to be wonderful and extraordinary in a time like this, to be running forward while the entire world came to a screeching halt, to ask someone how they're doing and be completely willing to get the real answer and not just hope that they say fine and keep walking. Many adults are quick to shut us down and point out that we aren't the only rebellious generation where the young people are forcing change and seeming like they just won't shut up. And they're right. We are not unique in our position in history as young people. We stand on the shoulders of all the revolutionaries and all the change makers that came before us. However, we are unique in the role that we play. We'll face off with never before dealt with problems and forge a new path. We're all here today to graduate, to say goodbye for now to our high school teachers and friends. But lately, including today, I feel like I've been saying hello more than anything. Hello to new challenges, hello to seniors that I never would have sat next to if it weren't for Mr. Hopkins' nerdy Excel spreadsheet that assigns its partners. Hello to complete character changes in people I've known for four to six years, emboldened by their newfound freedom, if not their senioritis. I'm sad to say that I haven't truly known all of you, and I'm sad that I'm just now getting to know some of you, and I'm so sad that the ones I've gotten to know the most will no longer be right beside me. But I can be happy knowing that each one of you could have stood up in Eichelberger Hall and told Tony Hall exactly what it is you're doing to leave this world just a little better than you found it. We are all extraordinary, beautiful, and wonderful people and we're all moving on to do the thing in front of us. We are the Stivers graduating class of 2022.
thank you, and once more to our commencement ceremony. My dearest classmates, constituents, class of 2022, congratulations, we are finally done. <laughs> moments, from now, <laughs> moments from now, we will be receiving our diplomas and we will proudly get to call ourselves Stivers School for the Arts alumni. Through our six years, for most of us, we as a class have been through so much, like COVID, struggling to get to class on time, the overwhelming period of AP testing, you get it. But no matter what, in the end, we're all here, coming in together and going out together. I have many people to thank for contributing to my uniquely fulfilling experience here at Stivers. Unger and the tennis team for making my four seasons of tennis challenging and fun, and Ayana for giving me Cheez-Its or those vegan tasting granola bars. My private lessons teachers, Ms. Robinson and Mr. Davis for helping me truly love my magnets. Mrs. Bronner for opening the library to us whenever we needed a safe space. Mr. Reisner for making people laugh even when they were down. And you, my classmates, for being there with me since middle school and some for elementary and filling the halls and classrooms we were in with funny and wholesome memories. I have learned various things during my time here, but the one thing that Cyrus has taught me and hopefully others here will forever cherish and use when continuing with the next chapter of our lives is how to apply and be the best versions of ourselves. Queen Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, once said, I believe everybody in the world is born with genius level talent. Apply yourself to whatever you're a genius at and you can do anything in the world. We all became genius in a particular skill in elementary school. With these skills, you either continue to improve on that skill or entirely rely on that talent. And I'm sure many of us can agree with me when I say this, we had to rely on that talent sometimes. I came to Stivers with the utmost confidence. I entered the school and the amount of talent and opportunity Stivers has to offer was unlimited. That immense feeling of astonishment my seventh grade self soon felt soon turned into insecurity. My younger self couldn't stand the fact that there was a possibility that I would fail or not be good enough, so I stopped trying altogether. But it took me half of the pandemic to realize how much I've missed out on and how much I could have and should have done. I watched my previous upperclassmen accomplish so much by pushing themselves, and I wondered, what is stopping me from doing this? What is stopping us from doing this? Just do it. At that moment, my whole perspective on life changed entirely, and my motivation levels increased. Within my last two years, I have accomplished so much. So for that, thank you, mom and dad, for always being there for me and dealing with my 12 years of procrastination. Thank you, Mr. Griff, for always having something motivational to say every time we cross paths. And thank you, Mr. Hopkins and Ms. Sorrell for making math fun because math was extremely difficult. But enough about me. Every one of you is so talented, unique, a genius. We have accomplished so much as a class already. I don't know about y'all, but I brag on the class of 2022 all the time. We are the greatest class to ever grace the halls of Stivers. So I challenge every one of you to continue to be great. It saddens me that we won't be attending school every day together anymore. But on the bright side, our futures are just now beginning. I know every one of you has the potential to go and do something extraordinary, not just for our generation's futures, not for the generations after us, but for yourself. This advice isn't just for my class, but for the classes after us. You are all genius at something. Some of you are more genius at more than one thing. Why hold that genius back? Why not push your skills to the limits and exceed expectations you didn't even know you could exceed? Whether you decide to go to college, the military, the workforce, or travel, even if it's almost too late, there is always a positive opportunity to grow. And whatever opportunity that is, take it. It will always be worth it. As Steve Maraboli said, 
Seize the opportunity accessible in the now. Empower yourself to take hold of the opportunity for change and growth and the opportunity to live the life you've always wanted to live. As we grow and continue our paths in life, the world will be given to us from the generation before us. We will become the next generation of lawyers, doctors, mechanics, entrepreneurs, activists, the first you. So don't wait. Please don't hold back. Improve. Be proactive. Continue to push yourself. Be genius. Class of 2022, it has been an honor being your classmate, your president, orchestra seat partner, teammate, and friend. Good luck to all of you. Peace out. Class of 2022. When we started this year as seniors coming off the backs of our, uh, off of our journeys as juniors, Mr. Ungra told us on day one that things would go just like that. It's hard to believe someone when they say that memories will be made before experiences are even lived. But now, because I have the mem memories promised to me on that first day of senior year, I've learned two of the most important lessons I'll ever know. The lesson one is easy. Mr. Unger is by no means a liar, never. But lesson two, on the other hand, is one that is much more rich in its potency of sadness. Unger's proclamation was a prophetic testimony to the moment, that which is current and that which happens only once in the course of human history. In reminding us of the impermanence of today, Unger was forewarning of our envy for tomorrow. And this mes that message is in all of us, all of this, and the message in all of this, the hard-hitting realization, the message in all of this is the hard-hitting realization that living in the now is only gonna happen in the present. When I look back over not only this past year, but more so my entire six years at Stivers, I have a hard time believing the memories I have are really memories. The people in the crowd before me are made of faces who, in some ways, have become more familiar, me, familiar to me than my own face over the past six years. And for that reason, I can't help but feel I'm missing something. It feels almost as if there's some memory long forgotten, a secret left untold, or worst of all, a hand left unraised during the pressing current events. Current events. At this moment, I see a stadium full of the highest human potential, and yet, for the life of me, I cannot recall any specific memories that got us all here. I see national award-winning artists and photographers, basketball players with imaginable raw talent, academics who have achieved millions of dollars in scholarships, people who don't know how to form a straight line, and so much more, and I still can't pinpoint how exactly this came to be the class of 2022. My point behind spewing all of this sadness is so as to say this. Time has truly gone by quicker than it should have with the class of 2022. And in spite of all of the evidence that points to the creation of such a magnificent group of people, I have no specific way of recalling how any of you got to this particular point. The past is the past now, and the only way to left for me to truly picture all of you is through a glimpse of the present. Not even our award-winning photo department is capable of capturing your magnificence. So knowing this, let's move on from the past and instead indulge in every senior's favorite subject, current events. And today's news is you, you the class of 2022, you the graduating seniors who teed off six years of your life like a rocket-fueled home run. <clears throat> You're the ones who've done it. You've taken all the hits and the free balls, and you've just run as hard for every one of them. You swung right through all the sidewinding curve balls of capstones and COVID, and now high school is the dust on your shoes as you proudly decorate home plate. As I stand up here before you, I see people who have dreamed big thanks to those inspiring figures around us, the Deshonas, the Ungers, and the Daniels, Danielses, and everyone else in between who made the way for a flourishing class of 2022. And with them, we graduate here knowing that we are to adopt their roles as the figurehead for the important moments ahead of us. In just a few moments, sweet minutes, all of you will be upon the stage to gather your diplomas to prepare for the biggest current event of your lives. But before then, I want to conclude with the final remarks on this momentous occasion. All of you before me are capable of so much good for this world. And if there's one thing that I want all of you to remember before you leave here today, it's got to be those ever potent words from Ambassador Tony Hall. Do the thing in front of you. So long as you continue to do that which is most immediate to you, you are all capable. So long as you remember to fight for what you truly believe in, you all are capable. 
So long as you remember who you are in the cur current event, you all are capable. Class of 2022, I can't imagine having gone through six years of high school in any other way. And for all of you, I am so grateful. I love each and every one of you with a respect and kinship that only time can know, because I consider all of you to be my family, and that will never change. Thank you, class of 2022, for having been my brothers, sisters, and everything in between. Thank you, teachers, for having been my educators in not only academics, but life in general. Thank you, Stivers, for having been the greatest of school imaginable. And thank you, parents, for the being the bridge between all important walks of life. All of you mean the world to me, and I'm eternally grateful to have all of you in my life. Now that all of that is out of the way, it's time to do the thing most in front of us and get our diplomas. Thank you. Administrators, teachers, family, friends, and my fellow graduating class of 2022. I, Zoe AK, am grateful and extremely honored to give one final task and address you on this life-changing occasion. I usually introduce myself as a graduating senior, but in just a few moments, we all will be an alum of Stiver School for the Arts. It's mind-boggling to stand at this podium in front of my classmates, teachers, and family to say that our moment has finally arrived. All of our hard work and dedication over the years, and now the day we all have been waiting for, is here. I have been overcome with emotions over the last few weeks, such as excitement, nervousness, and anxiety, just to name a few. However, I'm extremely proud to be here as a member of Styra School for the Arts, class of 2022. I want to thank my mom, Roberta Walker. For the constant support and instilling values and lessons I will have for a lifetime. Without her, I would not be the young woman I am standing before you all today. I want to thank my grandparents for not only the endless rights to and from practice, but teaching me that education can unlock new doors. I want to thank my other family and supporters who have encouraged me and cheered for me throughout these last six years. Finally, I want to thank my class, the class of 2022. Without you all, especially the sisters with two Mrs. Group Chat, <laughs> I wouldn't understand the importance of truly living in the moment. For six years, 72 months, 2,190 days, 52,560 hours, 3,153,600 minutes, and 189 million seconds, we have called Stiver School for the Arts our home. Now, whether or not you're willing to admit it, Stiver's has made an accepting and com comfortable atmosphere that you can't help but to think you are at home. It is home to many lifelong memories that we share amongst each other, our families, teachers, administrators, and hopefully anyone that meets us along our paths to our future endeavors. Because of this school, I have been introduced to people from all walks of life. This building and the people in it is a reflection of how the world should be. We had the opportunity to know some amazing people and now are forever connected. The sense of belonging by just walking through the halls and someone saying hi to me in passing means everything. We always had the support of our teachers and administrators who are dedicated to making us successful not only in the subject they teach, but also in our lives. This is why we can call Stivers our home. I could truly say that going to Stivers School for the Arts for six years, 72 months, 2,190 days, well, you all know the rest, <laughs> has truly been a life-changing experience. Throughout my senior year, the thought of being somewhere else other than Stivers, has crossed my mind on several occasions. Every time this thought creeps into my head, I will instantly be filled with nerves. So imagine leaving an environment that we are so comfortable in and going off to a completely different world has created my uncertainty. Will my counselor help me no matter where I find them in a building like Mr. Asadoria? Will my professors answer my question in detail and more, just like Mr. Hopkins? Will I have a space where I can still return to a talk and express my thoughts, just like I am with Mr. Richards? 
Most of all, will people see me as a person who makes mistakes and has flaws, yet still accepts me for me, just like Ms. Deshona? These questions continue to fill my head. However, I began to think how this somewhat scary time for all of us can be changed into a positive one. I started to adopt the mindset that change can foster greatness in the long run. According to Oxford Languages, change is defined as make someone or something different, alter, or modify. Change can be scary for all of us, but it's crucial for development, especially now that we are entering in adulthood. John F. Kennedy once said, change is the law of life, and those who only look to the past and present are certain to miss the future. Change challenges our complacency. As we go along our new paths, there will be mistakes, there will be failures, there will be uncertainty. However, I know the ambition and dedication in each one of us will ensure that these new changes will foster our greatness. Now, class of 2022, let's walk through this door of change. Thank you. This black and orange sure looks good tonight. Good evening, Dr. Lolly, board member Dr. Prickett, distinguished guests of the podium, and family and friends of the Stiver School for the Arts class of 2022. Matter of fact, it's not a good evening. It's a great evening. It's Friday. It's the start of a long weekend, and we are here celebrating a graduation. One of the greatest celebrations ever. These young people in front of me have accomplished one of their greatest and most important feats in their lives, and we are here to celebrate it with them. I want to thank my administrative team, Adrian Jackson and Julie Clark, for their leadership and guidance. Elizabeth Whips, our Magnet Coordinator, our counselors, Dave Ace Doran and Gwen Walston, advisors, John Hopkins, Megan Arrington, and Teresa Sorrell, and probably the most important people, the parents, and our wonderful teaching staff here at Stivers School for the Arts. Thank you. <laughs> Superintendent Lally, I do hereby certify that the students here today met or exceeded the requirements set forth by the Ohio Department of Education and Dayton Public Schools. Each student has earned a minimum of 20.5 Carnegie units in the required courses. Dr. Lolly, it is with great pleasure that I present to you for your acceptance the Stivers School for the Arts, Class of 2022, the Class of Classes. Good evening. I would like to extend my welcome to the parents, the honored guests, the honored alumni, the wonderful staff of Stivers, and especially to you, the graduates. The past two years have truly been a challenge for each of you. You didn't get to finish your sophomore year. You were remote and without many extra activities your junior year. And you wore a mask most of your senior year. However, each of you accepted this challenge and did what was needed to reach this day. You're prepared for whatever happens in your future because of the resiliency and commitment that you developed during your high school years. As you go forward, remember that you can do whatever you choose to do. Make good choices, remember the values you learned from your family, and do your best. I wish you well as you move into your future. Now, as the superintendent of the Dayton Public Schools and by the power entrusted to me by the Ohio Department of Education and the Dayton Board of Education, I do hereby accept these candidates for graduation and I release their diplomas to be presented during this ceremony. <laughs> Board member, Dr. Pickett, 
it is my honor to commend to you the Stivers School for the Arts Class of 2022. Good evening, great evening actually. Hello to all administrators, teachers, parents, and graduates. On behalf of the Dayton Board of Education, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to the Cyber School for the Arts class of 2022. Graduates, your time as students in the Dayton Public School has come to a close. In just a few minutes, you will grow, walk across the stage and receive your diplomas. The road to get here has not been easy. Everyone sitting here today has faced and overcome many challenges and obstacles in order to make it to this ceremony. When the pandemic began in March of 2020, you were only on your second year of high school. Over the last two years, you have faced monumental cha changes that most high school students do not have to deal with. For learning at, from learning at home, to mask and social distancing requirements, the usual high school experience came with many additional challenges for your class. However, throughout endless changes, you did not give up. You are here today because you, are tr you truly earned it. We are very proud of your determination, your resilience, and perseverance that each of you demonstrated to make it to this point. These skills will serve you as well when you embark to your next journey, whether it is entering the college or joining the military, beginning a career, or taking a path, any other path, you are well prepared and, conf and, and confident that you will succeed. I would now like to take a moment to share a few highlights for the Stivers class of 2022 with you. A member of your graduating class, Jaja Parker, will be the first DPS student to go on to play Division I volleyball in college since 1976. She is also the first ever Stiver student to play Division I volleyball in college. 80% of students plan to continue their education after high school and the school had an 86% FAFSA completion rate, which was one of the highest in the state. <laughs> Stivers was one again, once again recognized by US News and World Report for being one of the top schools in the state. CTE photography students and visual arts students won state and national awards for their work. And seniors earned a total of $12.3 million in scholarships. And now, on behalf of the Dayton Board of Education, I accept these students commended to me by the superintendent, and they shall be here for the graduates of the Dayton Public Schools, and they shall be here for bestowed with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities afforded to graduates of the school system. I wish you success in everything that you do in the future. As you move into the next chapter of your life, please remember to carry with you the skills and knowledge you took from your time at Dayton Public Schools. Please remember that your Dayton Public Schools family will always be here to support you. And now, please join me in congratulating the Cyber School class, Art Class of 2022. <laughs> Lonnie Allen Fleming. Penelope Margot Fisher. 
Roxy Ann Reinard. Ryan Jason Gibson. Zoe Elon AK. Tiana Shante Barton. Gabrielle Latrice Cosby. Abigail Riley Davis. Olafella Zumbiche Rodriguez. Ayana Kai Alexander. Adelaide Mariah Seifred. Hannah Julianne Ruth Swanson. Dylan K. Serrano. Paige Diania Andrea Turner. Ashlyn Rose Edwards. King Akil Amisa Adu. Tylea Janae Arnold. Samuel James August. Siobhan Wynette Baker. Maxwell True Banazak Moore. Jocelyn Bankston. Caleb Scott Bishop. Paige Brianna Black. Aubrey Chanel Botts. Connor Irvin Bullerman. Kaylee Jade Renee Burden. Talon DeMay Campbell. Imani Sequoia Salon Clark. Joseph Edward Connor. Dean Nicole Cook. Sydney Mashea Diani. Kofer, Brendan Terrell Lane Crump, Rollin John Michael Cummings, Azaria Janae Davis, Caleb Joseph Eric. Kyla Marie Edwards. Jose Ashiban Estramiro III. Milo Epitidas Fleetum. Amaya Rianne Foster. Jordan Rishon Foster. Jordan Lee First. Honesty Charisma Garcia. Dijaman Shivani Gilbert. Adam Monroe Graff. Ramaya Renee Green. 
Alexander Jeffrey Gross. Linda Sue Rose Hammond. Corwin Nolan Harris. Ricky Renee Harris. Willie James Harris, Jr. Alana Faith Henry. Sean Delaney Everett Herring. Zion Isaiah David Hill. Cameron Lee Hutchinson. Madison Kamara Hudson. Eddie Jordan Ivy the Third. Asusena Josephine Jackson. Vincent Coleman Jackson, Jr. Bradley Torrance Jeffries. Senea Sylvia Johnson. Nia Aimani Johnson. Andrew Elijah Jones. Layla Shamaria Jones. Michaela Nicole K. Jones. Kenderlyn Denise Keaton. Ada Lillian Kingston. James Andrew Kruntz. Rachel J. Liu. McKenna Rose Lauer. Jabrielle Lachey Lyle Jones. Talasia Angela Lyons. Madeline Hope Manning. Mia Chantel McAtee. Ryan Gerard McClure. Jemiah DeAsia McNair. Nakea Jade Miller Newsom. Sapphire Montgomery. Kaylee Jordan Moore. Daniela Guadalupe Moroa Puente. Devante Tanzel Nash. Brianna Nicole Nelson. William Lee Oldham.
Damar Lamont Parker. Jaya Nicole Parker. Alyssa Marie Pierce. Evelyn Jane Peterzak. Veronica Corinne Pillion. Josiah Mikai Reigns. Mia Lux Richards. Tyler Kent Rogan. Jalen Remea Sanders. Mahogany Shawnee Sanders. Faith Ariana Marie Sawmiller. Chelsea Suzanne Sheriff. Demaya Lene Sims. Addison Claire Smith. Elise Nicole Smith. Derek Braxter Stinson Jr. Leah Tamara Strozer. Ravina Devi Tandon. Rayon Cherie Taylor. Nathaniel Alexander Thomas. Janelle Alexis Tucker. Jayana Murray Alexandria Turner. Brooklyn Irie Tyler. Nakai Monet Vance. Jalen Ray Walden. Sakai Michael Walker. Kaylin Nicole Ward. Jasmine Marie Watson. Dylan Clark Wald. Paige Renee Wells. Brianna Nicole Westbrook. Denisha Nicole Woodard. Emily Christian Yoho Dodge. to start off by saying congratulations to the Stivers School for the Arts class of 2022. We did it! Today 
we celebrate the accomplishments, tears, and lessons learned in these four years of high school, or as most of you know it as, a life-changing experience. In all honesty, high school is a struggle, whether it's mentally, physically, or emotionally. But I will say the main way to make it through is having that support system. Loved ones, or sometimes maybe even strangers, will do everything in their power to make sure you, to make sure what you want happens. My mom has taught me that it takes a village to raise a child, which in this case, all of you have been my village, and all of you have seen me grow. And whenever I would feel defeated, I would always be told by my dad that no matter the circumstance, someone or something is working right now for you. So never chase, let it come to you. Thank you, mom and dad, for all of your encouraging words, life lessons, and reminders of how hard-headed I am when it comes to decision-making so that I could be prepared when I go out on my own. To the class of 2022, Working hard for what you want takes strength and determination, which we all have, but the difficulty is embracing it. This here, this diploma right here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> is that foundation that has built us up to be able to achieve whatever we put our minds to, to have that motivation, and to have the feeling of satisfaction that we finally completed one of the biggest tasks of our lives. <sighs> Though sometimes we feel we could have done more, or maybe even did better, the future is rooting for us just like it has been for these long 13 years, for us to be in this moment, smiling bright, looking at each other with proud eyes, and I don't know about you guys, but definitely with waterworks forming. I remember first coming to this amazing school, being afraid that I wouldn't make any friends or I wouldn't be as talented in my magnet. And the day Mrs. Powell called my name up to come and sing in front of the class, my body went into complete shock. Once I got up and started singing, my legs were quivering like I had just stepped out of negative degree water and my voice was going out as if I couldn't breathe, which in that moment, I felt like I couldn't. That will forever be the start of my singing career here at Stivers. Mrs. Powell taught me to be more confident in my performance and to never be afraid to make a mistake. And to that, I say thank you. I mention this because just like me, you all have grown not only in your craft, but as mature individuals. I have seen most of you come from being little seventh graders, or as Mr. Unger would say, babies, into beautiful, industrious, goal-chasing young adults. As we close this chapter of our lives, I wanna give a big thank you to the Stivers School for the Arts, class of 2022, for such an amazing experience and impact on my life. I wish each and every one of you the absolute best and the sincerest congratulations. <sighs> and with that being said, this is Paige Turner. Let's turn this page. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and honored guests, cherished alumni, it is my honor and privilege this evening to present to you the Stiver School for the Arts graduating class of 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> 